Pixar. Please subscribe to our channel for more videos. Hello everybody. In this video I explain some mailbox tools in details. Firstly, I import a STL file. This is completely explained in a separate video. You can find it in Pixar YouTube channel. If I click on the crown, a window with some options pops up. A pin with a plus mark is for adding connectors and the one with minus mark removes all connectors. In the black tab, I can change the type of the job that is defined before. The number shown in this field represents the offset area around the coping and by default is 2.7 millimeters. Let's open settings. This button gives a general information of the selected job as you see the file name and the type of it. Next button is for rotating the, the job and the most important the option for adjusting the cavity fit. By default the fit value is a standard and I can tighten the crown by selecting a positive number and loosen it by selecting a negative number. The color inside the crown shows the cavity fit in a, that is chosen, blue for positive number and red for the negative one. Okay, let's check some options in tools. Click on engraving. Select insert. This option is useful when you want to have a printing on the surface of the crown, something like the color and number or etc. Hold control button on the keyboard and mouse scroll to rotate the mark. And hold shift button on the keyboard and mouse scroll to resize it. The marks follow an order by default every time you open the window for the next mark. After milling, you will see this A2 is engraved on the crown. Another option in tools is for reusing the blocks and is for removing an area on the blank. exporting or importing blanks and for rotating the current blank the last option for today is vertical pin I click on add vertical support adjust pin diameter at tools and at material and simply by mouse left click place it on the occlusal side of the crown please follow Wixer youtube channel for more videos and thank you for watching